everybody deserves the respect. And I also really believe that we can break down the system of power that we've been taught exists and we've, we've been taught is the only way to operate on set. It actually isn't. It actually isn't. Everybody needs to understand the greatest thing you can do is be someone who has integrity and respect and kindness and that is actually the most powerful thing rather than fear. I got into film through acting. Um, I did like community theater shows when I was younger, and then that turned into school uh, plays in middle school, and then in high school. I was really interested in acting, and also with my friends on the weekends, we would make our own um, little movies with a huge camcorder. And by the time that I graduated high school, I was kind of fully fully into acting, went to Boston to study acting at Emerson College. And while I was there, I took an improv class and a, I volunteered on a couple of student films. And that kind of, it's something about film for me. I felt like I wasn't seeing a lot of queer content. I wasn't seeing a lot of content made by women. So it was really exciting to kind of be like, I'm just gonna drain my savings account. I'm gonna make a short film. I'm going to reach out to everyone I know, see if they want to help in any way. I tend to get really lit up by people who have a really strong point of view and um, a story that is really personal or like that they're very passionate about. I worked as a PA on ABC's Bless This Mess. It's a pretty women-honed show, mostly run by women. So it was super singular in the way that the set was very different. It was operated as if like your goals were just as important as us making the TV show. And it was super collaborative. I tend to focus mainly on connecting with and collaborating with a lot of women, queer people, POC. I want their perspective. I find it exciting to give them the mic. Yeah. And to collaborate with someone whose perspective is so different than mine. That's what I love about it. My goal is to eventually have a production company that would focus on women's stories, queer people's stories, people of color. But I genuinely really want to work on making um, the industry a place where women, queer people, and people of color feel lifted. I want to hear what you have to say, so can you please make the thing? Make the thing. All of our creative ideas have a shelf life. Um, and soon you won't identify with that thing anymore. And I want to see who you are at this moment in time. Make the thing. <laughs>